greetings and salutations. This is Felly Cat, and right now I am going to show you how to transform a SimSpot into a Chobit. First thing you're going to need, obviously, is a SimBot. Let's see if he has... yes, this is perfect because I don't really want to bother crafting one right now. Uh, scroll down, scroll down. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, scroll down. A little more. Do I not? Uh, yes, there it is, my best friend. Purchase that. And we should now have a Simbot momentarily. There it is. Okay. Oh god, I forget how hideously ugly these things are when they're not customized. Oh yeah, it's loading my mods right now, that's why it's lagging so badly. Yeah, this is actually where I'm going to have my uh, Chobits game file. Oh, yeah, whatever, I don't care. Yeah, mods loading. Forgot about that, sorry. Come on, hurry it up. I need to edit this guy. Oh, yay, we just became even more famous. Like, that was really necessary. So, like, where are you? He's all the way over here. Why is that? I've never used that reward before though, so... Yeah, this is a, a natural and unedited simbot. This is what they look like when you create them at the station or use the uh, My Best Friend reward. They're pretty hideous. This is why I turned them all into Chobits. Pretty sure I had to wait for him to arrive at his new house before I can do any editing though, so we'll just follow him. At least that's the idea, if he would drive the... there we go, drive the taxi, thank you very much. <laughs> the car sounds in this game are so weird. And they go so fast, it's, it's terrifying. I would be f afraid to live in an area where cars actually drove as fast as these ones do. Okay, so he's at his new home now. I still can't select him. That's my Chobits master. I know he doesn't look like much, but... Yeah. He, uh, he's the man, pretty much, when it comes to making uh, Simbots. Oh, so he's a mooch! Nice. I always wanted a mooch. Not really. Moochers are annoying to play with. There he is! And he's doing laundry. Yeah, that's actually an add-on that you can either buy from the Sims 3 store or it uh, comes uh, standard with the university. They just went ahead and added it in there. He doesn't like the washing machine. I don't care. Okay, let me activate cheat mode. Which we will do with this. And then I believe we have to hold down the shift key now. Or is it uh, the control key? Ah, well, I guess you can't do it that way, but uh, if you hit the NRAS button, which is a very helpful mod, by the way, if you don't already use it in your Sims game, you probably should be. Uh, D 
debug enabler. Uh, no, wait a second. Oh, it's master controller I need, not debug. Okay, uh, settings, version. I believe it's advanced that I want right now. Yes, edit in cast is what you want to click on there. This will open up create a household, which will allow you to change your sim settings uh, in game. Dagger! Technically not supposed to be able to do that, but thanks to the wonderful modders over at NRAS Industries, you can in fact change them around while you're live. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to go into the uh, basics tab here. If you want, you can go ahead and change the thing's name, even its gender. Do not mess with the supernatural type because that will change it into a different type of sim. You don't want to do that. What you want to do is you want to go down here and you see where it says elder. Click on adult or young adult life stage. Okay, we're going to go ahead and make him a young adult because they don't have wrinkles and I just think we that looks better go. for simbots. Okay, now uh, obviously he does not look like the normal sim yet, but that's because we had to change his outfit and his hair and all that stuff. So let's go over to clothing. Actually, let's start with hair. That face is bugging me really bad right now. And why are you not working the way that I want you to? There we go. Thank you. Yes, I know I don't care. So we're just going to give him some hairstyle that's not having a hat right now. We need something to cover the ears and I'll show you why in a minute. Let's just go with that because I like long hair anyway. It looks good on Sims and real men too in my opinion. Let's make it kind of a bizarre color. Not way bizarre, but different than this. Let's go with an orangey red color. I like that color. Make the roots dark, we'll make that. We'll give him some really bright highlights. And then, hello kitty, do not play with the microphone. Thank you, see you later. Yeah, that's kind of a golden sunburst hair. I like that color. That'll work. Click accept on that. Okay, uh, oh yeah, skin tone is what's going on here as well. Just uh, drop this menu down and pick whatever you want. I just usually use the default. Also, you're not that muscular and you're not that fat. Yeah, let's give him a little definition, but smaller size. Yeah, that's okay. That, that works. Right now he has the uh, vanilla pudding face because I haven't edited it yet. Let's get him into some actual clothing. I have a lot of custom sensory store stuff installed, so this usually takes a minute to load. Hope I don't go over the recording time with this. It should be fine now. So we don't really need anything particular fancy for this guy. We could put him in a damn hot dog suit, but that just is silly. We're not going to make him an Easter Bunny either, but that would probably be funny. We'll go with a Chinaman look. That works for me. And as you can see, your sim button now looks totally normal. There's no more weird clunky bits, there's uh, no metal face, there's none of that going on anymore. Which I think is wonderful, and he actually has an ear showing there, I gotta change his hairstyle. Alright, let's fix that. So, we need one that covers both ears, not just one. You can choose not to do this part, but I do for a very simple reason, and um, yeah, we can actually change the shape of his head and ear and all that stuff. So, let's edit ear settings. Let's make it completely tiny. Yes, that helps a lot. And make him go way up on the head. And you can't really see them anymore, but you kind of still can, so... It bothers me that you can still see the uh, ears like that. That's why I'm so finicky about it. This one shouldn't show it, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a good hairstyle for Chobits. Okay. Mm, 
Yeah, you can change the face. He has what's known as vanilla pudding face right now. It's just the basic random face stuck on there. And I'm not going to get too detailed with this because this is just a quick way to show you how to do this. He has unnatural eye colors already. But I actually like to make it even stranger. Uh, I like that eye shape. Let's go with something really strange. How about a maroon? A very deep maroon. I like that. Okay. And I also like to make their eyes very large and slightly alien looking. You will only have this feature if you have the correct expansion pack installed, however it's a university. Aliens came with that one. So yeah, I usually give them huge eyes. Because they're not natural. They are, uh, chobits. Okay, uh, his nose is too big. I don't like his nose. Let's just stick a basic one on there for now. Yeah, there we go. And of course, you can go through and mess with all the settings while you're in cast. Uh, yeah... Being a loner doesn't really fit the whole idea of Simbots. Uh, don't change Hydrophobe unless you want them to take a bath or a shower or go swimming and uh, short out. That will be a very, very bad thing for your Simbot. Uh, let's make him friendly. And give him a good sense of humor because so everyone likes jokes. <laughs> oh yeah, Lifetime Wish. Doesn't really matter. Why not? Although I'm pretty sure that would be considered cheating in a real sports team. And that's it. That's all you have to do. You go in the cast using the NRAS uh, menu and you change the skin tone and body settings and eye settings. And one more thing you need to do is you need to go through each outfit if you want them to look like Chobits, I should say. If you just want them to appear as normal sims, you can skip this. Let's scroll down until you find this uh, particular item, and I will put a link to this in the description so you can find it more easily. It's uh, kind of an obscure one. Uh, where did they go? And I'll be sending him off to live with some other sim. Because this guy doesn't uh, keep them, he just creates them and sends them out. There it is. Sends them out into the world. I'm populating it with uh, Chobit companions gradually over time, and there you go. You have a Chobit in The Sims 3. The only issue with this is... Well, actually there is no issue with this, because Simbot males can already procreate. Don't ask me how they do that, but they do. Hit accept, and you're done. Maybe. Although technically you have to go through and set the accessory for each outfit because it may not be there by default. And you just have to wait a moment for the Sims new appearance to load in the game. And there you have it. A Chobit populating your Sims 3 town. That's all there is to it. Alright. Yeah, they uh, unfortunately keep the Sims 3 Cho- or Sims 3 bot- 3 Sim bot walk. Yes, I could talk really good today. Uh, you can change that with the uh, there's, there's a mod somewhere that you can change your uh, walk style with. But yeah, that's basically it. Alright, anyway, I'm Felly Cat. Thanks for watching, and I hope this gave you a hand. See you later.